got back from seeing Escape Room. And we'll be back with your non-spoiler. Uh-huh. We will be. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Pop Pop Fizzle. I'm Jeff. I'm Heidi. And it's been a while since we've said those words. It really has. Uh, it, it took yeah. a few takes, actually. Yeah, we actually just filmed a, a video where we explained kind of our absence for a little bit. Not that anybody really cares. We have a small little family around us. We appreciate every single one of you. So we didn't want to uh, have disappeared with no explanation. You can watch that little video if you'd like. Uh, maybe we'll put the link down below. I don't know. I forget sometimes to do the things I say I'm going to do. It happens. Um, anyway, we are here to give you our non-spoiler review for the movie Escape Room. Yes. Now, uh, I did not watch any reviews for this film before we filmed this. Did you? Nor did I. Okay. I saw that some people had them up. I know Stuckman had his up. I know John's had his up. I'm sure Hi, guys. There... Hi. Yeah, you, guys sure... Don't, you guys don't watch us, but we watch you. Yeah, I'm sure there are some other people out there as well. Um, and and we, we say that, that. They don't watch us, but we watch them. Some of that is because we don't consider ourselves uh, reviewers or critics. We we review because we love movies, but we're not critics. We're not going to pick things apart. We're not approaching it as a filmmaker or any of those things. Oh. We're just telling you whether or not we like, we like a thing. So um, that's pretty much what we're going to do here. And this will be the non-spoiler version of that discussion. Don't think we have any plans to film a spoiler talk about yeah. it. So uh, yeah. we'll just give you our thoughts about whether or not you should see the film. Um, I saw... At least one trailer for this film before we saw it. I think we reacted to it. Didn't we? I think so. If we didn't, then we might have seen it together at a, in a theater. Yeah, sometimes that happens, especially if Heidi's a, at a place in her work schedule where we haven't been able to do reactions for a while, and then we get a free night and we're like, hey, let's go see a movie so we can do a review. Sometimes some of the trailers that we've missed or haven't reacted to yet play in front of the film, and then we're like, okay, well, we can't do a reaction for that. So if we did a reaction, it's on our channel somewhere. If we didn't, then... Yeah, we saw it at then, some point anyway. Yeah, we did. Um, I just kicked a box. We have boxes around here. You can see that other video, our player <laughs> to find out why. But um, yeah, so uh, I went into this kind of excited. Um, didn't really know a lot of the actors involved. No. Uh, other than Deborah Ann Wall, who we know from Daredevil. Uh, we yeah, come on, Karen. Um, so yeah, that was really the only person in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Um Actually, no, I take that back. Uh, Tyler, is it Labine? Um, mm. They played the trucker. Oh, I mean, we've seen him we've in seen things. We've seen him in stuff, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so that um, those two were the only real familiar faces for me. Uh, maybe I've seen some of the others before, I just don't recall. But but anyway, so I wasn't, it wasn't, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is it wasn't star power that no. drove me to the theater to see this. It was no. really the concept. Yeah, curiosity. All right, so going in, just knowing what we knew from the trailer, uh, what are your thoughts? Um, Non-spoiler thoughts. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It was really... Um, you know, it's like one of those movies where you think you might know what's going to be happening. I think from the trailer, you understand that this is a real situation for these characters. Right. Um, but you really don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. And I really liked that about it. Like, it didn't... I feel like I didn't see a lot of tropes that you see in certain movies, a certain, you know, mm -hmm. um, and this is a different concept, so I, I kind of like that too. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I would say there were a few tropes, but yeah. they, they would be very, very slim and, and, and not the usual in-your-face kind of tropes. Right, yeah. Um, I think all movies fall into tropes at some they point. Do. But, they do, um, but it wasn't, they used it sparingly and well. Right. Um, I, I think that this film hasn't done well with critics, at least on the Rotten Tomatoes score. Not that that should mean anything to anybody. You are the best arbiter of whether or not you, you, find, yeah, yeah, you, you enjoy a film or not, and um, whether or not a film is good in your opinion or not. So I feel like there's a Chef-Johnism in there. You are the something-something of your something-something movies. Mm, yeah. Shout out to Chef-John. Yeah, and if you watch Chef-John, then you know what she's on. It's foodwishes.com, by the way. Um, so, uh, yeah, so there, there you go. There's an actual Shout out to Chef John. Um, no, so we, um, you know, we tend to, uh, and I think we've said this before, when we go into films like this that don't, it's not the star power, it's not um, a big event movie or whatever. So what we want out of that experience, or at least speaking for myself, what I want is normally just a fun hour and a half, two hours mm -hmm. in the theater where I can throw back some corn and, and enjoy uh, a film and time with my wife. So, um I feel like I got that out of this film, and I, I feel like um, 
I've, I don't know what critics are looking for. Um, I never know what was it a, are Was it a perfect film? Probably no. not. No. Um, did it have some interesting angles and concepts that um, I thought were clever and unique? Yeah, I did. And, uh, you know, was anybody that was acting in this thing, did they throw me out of it, like, with bad acting? No. No. Uh, was the set design cool? Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah, so it was all, um, it was all pretty fun, I thought. Yeah. So, um, again... I don't let Rotten Tomatoes decide what I see and what I don't see, um, but uh, as for myself, I thoroughly enjoyed my time. Yeah, it was really, um, it was a lot of fun. It was definitely something that was engaging and, you know, it was a good way to spend a couple hours that wasn't in the real world. It was just a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, and I have, I have another comment to make about the film, but I'll, I'll wait until we're doing our, our rating for that. So if you're not familiar with our channel, uh, our name is Pop Pop Fizzle. So the way that we rate things here, if a movie is a pop, a uh, single pop, then that means that we enjoyed the film, but you don't have to go and see it on the big screen. You can save your money, see it when it hits streaming or what have you. If it's a double pop, that means stop what you're doing, run out and see it now, uh, and uh, you know, grab the giant corn and the giant drink and just veg out and enjoy that movie uh, in the theater the way that it's meant to be experienced. And if it's a fizzle, well, that kind of speaks for itself. Just yeah. don't bother, uh, pass this by and, uh, and go see something better or spend your money on something uh, more entertaining. Anyway, so that's our criteria usually for this thing. Mm -hmm. Heidi, given those criteria, how do you rate Escape Room? I always feel like we need more criteria. Probably. Probably. But, but that would mean we'd have to like change our name to like... Yeah, I'm not... You know, pop, semi, pop, 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 fizzle, semi, pop, fizzle, fizzle. That pop, sounds fizzle. like you're trying to write music or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's a new rap song. Yeah, no. Um, so for this, I would say pop and a half. Like, there is, so my criteria is like, is this something that really should be enjoyed on a big screen or not? So that's, you know, the, folded into our normal, like, channel criteria. But I'm like, right. There was so much that was happening in each of these rooms. I feel like a, a lot of it would be lost on a smaller screen. However, some of it is very immersive, just like the escape rooms that the characters are in. And so if that's going to be too intense for you, that may be better for you to see it on a smaller screen. But this is definitely worth a watch, whether it's on a small or a big screen. So pop and a half. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to lay in there with you. Uh, I, I agree with you that there are moments of this film that feel like they belong on the big screen. Um, because there's a lot of detail, the environments are rich with stuff, and the, and the puzzle-solving aspect, which you get in the trailer, so that's not a spoiler, the, the puzzle-solving part of that is a lot of fun, because you find yourself kind of looking playing along, along yeah. and looking for clues and trying to figure out uh, everything as well. <clears throat> so I think for that reason, uh, maybe a big screen would be helpful. I don't think it has to be viewed that way. Um, it might be more enjoyable, but I think you'd enjoy it just fine. Uh, streaming it or something as well. This And what I was going to say is this actually reminds me of, you know, sometimes when I'm going through Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever, neither of which are sponsors or a channel, but when you're moving through those channels and you're looking for something and you come across a concept, you know, as you're reading the blurbs, and it's like, okay, well, I don't recognize any of those names and I don't recognize the director's name, but that sounds like an interesting concept. Sometimes you can watch that movie, and usually that, for me, that's like late at night, she's working, I'm folding laundry or something stupid, and I, I just put something on to occupy my mind with while I'm doing chores, and so what will happen is that sometimes that turns out really well, and sometimes it turns out really poorly. This movie felt like one of those times where I gambled on something and it paid off really well. Like, it was done well, didn't have big names, didn't have a big-time director, didn't have anything that pulled me in, wasn't a big event movie, but it was solidly done. A lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Kept me guessing. Kept me trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed and so, it. so yeah. So I'm gonna land there with you at a pop and a half. Uh, I definitely recommend seeing this, whether you wait until streaming or whether you see it on the big screen. Right now, there's a lot of stuff out post holidays. There's just a ton of stuff. We yeah. missed a ton of things we, we want to see. We, yeah, I'm. I. But it's one of I those. Missed some good stuff. Yeah, but it's one of those films. Like if you've got, you know five people in your family that want to go see The Favorite, which may be a great film, mm. but that's not your cup of tea, then maybe hop over and go see, you know, Escape Room. Mm -hmm. uh, because it might maybe more up your alley. Um, it's really just going to depend on you and uh, what you enjoy. So anyway, those are our thoughts on Escape Room. Take them or leave them as you see fit. Uh, what you should do, though, is hop down to the comments below and let us know. If you've already seen Escape Room, what did you think about it? And if you haven't, uh, are you planning to? What are your thoughts about uh, those types of films where you're kind of engaged in the puzzle solving and stuff as well? Um, 
That actually reminds me, we still need to watch Bandersnatch, because I hear that's a sort of a choose-your-own thing, so we're going to have to do that as well. We might give you our thoughts on that after we watch it. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so uh, those are our thoughts. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And consider subscribing to the channel. We're just 200 or so people um, having fun on the internet. So, so glad we would you're love all there. to have yeah. you on board. And uh, if you are already a subscriber, consider sharing this video with people that you think might enjoy it. Um, or make sure you hit the little bell icon so you can be notified the next time we do one of those. All right. These or those, did I say? I don't know. I don't know what I said. I'm a little tongue-tied, but that's okay. It's just because I'm tired. Happy, uh, happy post-holidays, everybody. We hope that as you start your new year, it's a great one for you. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Heidi's got something she wants to say. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we just got back from seeing Escape Room. And we'll be back with our non-spoiler review right after this.